Yes, you. Welcome to the You're Not Getting Any Younger podcast, a podcast for people who want to disrupt their lives for a good reason, to make it count. I'm your host, Jen Glantz, and every week I'll drop a new episode with stories from real people just like you who woke up one morning and decided to make big changes, starting with small things. We'll cover topics like entrepreneurship, love, failure, and self-care. Hey, you're not getting any younger, so let's make this an adventure. Ready? Today's podcast is brought to you by Thinkific. Thinkific is the number one platform to create, market, and sell your own online courses or membership sites. They have revolutionized how individuals earn and learn online by building an all-in-one platform designed for both course creators and their audience. Try Thinkific for free today at try.thinkific.com slash Jen Glanz. That's try.thinkific.com slash Jen Glanz. You are going to love it. Okay, I'm super excited to tell you about a partnership I did with Happy Box. We created the ultimate engagement gift box, perfect for anybody in your life who is recently engaged. Inside of the gift box, you get the newlywed card game, a bride koozie, a candle, a heart-shaped sleep mask, and a ring-shaped balloon, which is perfect for all of the pictures that person will be taking, plus a personalized card where you can write any note inside. This is offered to you just in the month of July. Head to the Happy Box store, go to the collections, you'll see the engagement gift box, and make sure you use code B4H, that's B the number four H for $5 off. Go out there and send this gift to anybody you know who is recently engaged. Hey, hey, any youngers, it's me, your host, Jen Glantz, back with another episode of the You're Not Getting Any Younger podcast. Here's the deal, my friends. I am recording this on day two of having COVID. I know it hit me out of absolutely nowhere. On Tuesday, I had a coffee date with somebody and we were chatting it up and I was telling this woman that I've never had COVID before. I've never had COVID in two and a half years. And then a couple hours later, I go home. I start to feel so weird. I was like shaking uncontrollably. I was in a hot shower, freezing. I was like, okay, something's wrong here. Turns out the next morning I wake up and I test positive for COVID. So be careful what you brag about because it might end up catching up to you in the long run. I was feeling pretty bad yesterday. I had a really high fever. It was really hard to do anything but sleep. And I told myself I wasn't going to put out a podcast episode this week because I didn't have anything, you know, pre-recorded and I didn't have it in me to sit down and record. But I felt really bad about that because in the four plus years I've been podcasting, I've literally never, ever, ever, ever missed a week. So that's like over 200 something weeks that I've never missed. But I was willing to miss it because I really was feeling bad and I didn't want to just put out something bad for you. But then this morning I woke up and I'm feeling a little bit better. So I decided to, sh- to create a really short episode today for you on some of my favorite things that you can use this time that you would normally listen to a full episode. You can use the time doing in another way. So I want to share with you three of my favorite books right now, three of my favorite TV shows right now, and three of my favorite podcasts right now. Okay, let's start with TV shows. So Three of my favorite TV shows. Number one, I am completely obsessed with the show on Amazon Prime called The Summer I Turned Pretty. It was originally a book by Jenny Han and now it's a TV show. A lot of people recommended watching the show. I had no idea what it was about. It started off as this like really cute, sweet teen drama, comedy, romance. And then it just became something that you are so emotionally hooked into. I like to call this show like the weekend binge show. If you have nothing going on or it's a rainy Sunday, it's the kind of show that you can just sit down solo and completely binge in a day and you will be so happy that you did. Show number two is the show Made on Netflix. And this is also a book. And this is a show that I would call my slow binge show like this is a good show if you want to watch it once a week and why I say that 
is because every single episode is so emotionally draining, but it is such a beautiful and well-written show. It's about this mother who is trying to leave a very abusive situation. She has a child and she tries to become a maid and you just watch her go through so many struggles. It's based on a true story, which is what the book is. Um, And it's one of those shows, again, that is just so well-written. It's such a beautiful show, but it's definitely emotionally draining. So if you're looking for a show that you can just watch once or twice a week, that's the show for you. Now, the third show, I call this my laundry show, my folding clothes show, my just want to lounge on the on the couch show. It's called The One Who Got Away and it's on Amazon Prime and it's a reality show. And basically, it's a show where all of these singles are on the show and the producers of the show has have deeply researched these people's lives, like every moment of these people's lives. And one by one, they bring on somebody from their past. Maybe it's somebody that they knew in high school that they had a crush on or that person had a crush on them. Maybe it's somebody who follows them on social media. Maybe it's somebody that like they're in a group of friends and they casually know this person. They bring on people from their past and their life to see if that's the one who got away and if that's who they want to date. So it's a really cool, interesting spin on a traditional dating show because these people who are in the cast literally have no idea who's coming on the show for them. It's a lot of fun. It's a great show to just have on in the background. I like to have it on when I'm doing chores around the house because it just passes the time and it's so much fun. Let's move on to podcasts. Okay, so number one podcast, if you didn't already listen to it, please listen to last week's episode with Nicole Lappin. I believe it's episode 231, and it's all about finances and friendship. And why I'm pushing this episode so hard is because I think it's not only informative, but it's super helpful to anybody who wants to be more open about their finances. One of the things Nicole and I talk about is how to be honest with your friends about how much money you make, which seems like such a tough conversation, and it's something that I'm still trying to work on doing, but it's allowed me to have more honest and vulnerable conversations with my friends. You know, Nicole recommends people saying, hey, like this is how much I make every year. Anybody else interested in sharing their salaries and why that's so important is because especially as women we want to ask for raises or we want to get paid what we're worth we need to know what other people out there are getting paid and it's just really good as women to have confidence around the topic of money so that's my podcast episode that i'd recommend you listen to another podcast out there for all of you who are so into starting a business weird side hustles or just want to get some cool knowledge on how business works is a podcast on the hubspot network called my first million It's such a good show because it's basically these two guys and they just like spit out business ideas for the entire podcast episode, which you can totally steal and you should steal. So it's a little bit of business education. They break down how these businesses make money. They teach you how you can start them and they just give you a ton of business ideas. So this is such a great podcast for anybody out there who wants a push of advice when it comes to a side hustle or just wants to learn a little bit more. Okay, the final podcast is one called Forbidden Fruits. It's on Spotify. It's by um, Julia Fox is one of the co-hosts of the show. And why I really love this show, I binged every single episode, is because Julia and her co-host interview such incredible, unique people. Like they they interview a ton of people who maybe you've heard of before, maybe you haven't heard of before. But really what you end up getting is the true life of people who do so many different things. Um, I'm not going to give away any of their guests, but they did have Anna Delvey on. She's the German heiress. Netflix had the whole show on her. Um, They have so many cool people on there, honestly, mostly women who've just gone through some really tough things or who are living very interesting, unique, different lives. It's a bit of an intense show. I will tell you that. But if you're somebody who likes to listen to people who have really weird stories, whether they've been in cults or um, they've just had really crazy things happen to them throughout life, Forbidden Fruits might be the show for you. Now let's talk books. My first book pick for you is I Feel Bad About My Neck. It's from Nora Ephron. Nora Ephron is such a powerful, well-known writer, and this is a book about short stories. Um, I read this book so many, so many times. It's just a hilarious look of a woman who's going through a certain age and dealing with different parts of things that happen to women as they age. It's a fun nonfiction short story book to check out. A fiction short story book to check out is Heartbroke by Chelsea Beaker. Very intense, weird, dark book. But if you're somebody who wants to read fiction short stories, they all take place in like central California during um, 
I'm not sure like what period of time they take place, like maybe like in the early 1900s. Um, but it's such a dark book, but it's so incredibly well written. And the final one is a fiction sort of young adult book called Funny You Should Ask by Alyssa Sussman. This is such a fun story of a journalist who sort of falls for an actor and then it goes um, to what happens 10 years later, which is such an interesting concept to go from current to 10 years later. I really love this book as well. I got all these books at the local library. This is just a PSA. If you're not a member of the library, join. It's free and you can read every book out there for free. Yes, I love buying books, but I also really love getting them for free at the library. Those are my book picks, podcast picks, and TV show picks. I hope this was a helpful episode for you. I'm keeping it short because I am going to go take a nap and deal with this whole COVID situation. Stay safe, stay healthy, my friends. I'll see you next week. All my love, Jen Glantz. Hey, you. Thank you for listening to the You're Not Getting Any Younger podcast. There are hundreds of thousands of pods out there, so thank you for listening to this one. You can find the show notes for this week's episode up on our website, anyyounger.com. Subscribe, rate, and review that you're not getting any younger podcast on iTunes so that other ears around the world can listen to. Oh, and join our secret You're Not Getting Any Younger Facebook group, where over 1,000 people are talking about how to disrupt their lives for a good reason, to make it count. Until next week, all my love, Jen Glantz.